Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Sagittarius might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for July 2020. Keeping in mind that Altero readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Spirit, please, what love messages do you have for Sagittarius for the month of July 2020? What messages do you have for Sagittarius for the month of July 2020 pertaining to their love life? Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to divide these into three stacks. I know there's weird shadows on my face, I can't help it. Okay, it's like nighttime, just about nighttime. I'm in an attic. Okay. The card on the bottom of the deck, lovely, lovely, is the star. Now in our last reading, in the Scorpio read, the uh, card on the bottom of the deck was the tower. And, you know, in the tarot deck, the star is the card that always comes after the tower. So I thought that was kind of cool that this card's showing up as the main influence for this reading, it's the overall energy for this reading. As we go through this spread, I'm gonna show you how this card's going to relate to all the different cards that come up in your spread here, Sagittarius. All right, now for those of you who are new here, I do four rows, okay? Uh, the first row has to do with you, what you might have been dealing with, um, things that you're currently dealing with, and things, people, opportunities, that are coming up. The second column is the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, your soulmate, your karmic partner, your divine counterpart. This could be an ex that you still feel really, really drawn to and would love to reconcile with. Might even be somebody you just met. But generally, it's the person that you're thinking of the most. Uh, the one that's on your mind when you wake up and the last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. Okay, and that third column, we have um, your obstacles, challenges, um, fears, anxieties, that type of thing. Okay. Hold on. I did not put a card, a second card down for that, so we'll do this. One more card. <clears throat> okay. And in the last row, we have um, the outcome. All right. Now, I just put out four rows with two cards in each row. I'm going to do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. That way, by the time we get to the end of the reading, then you'll have a pretty good idea about uh, what's coming up for the month of July. Okay, now for you, we have the Seven of Pentacles as well as the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords is kind of an icky card. You might have been dealing with somebody that you kind of felt like uh, might have been uh, maybe liar, cheater, manipulator, that type of thing. This is a person, uh, you know, that is viewed as a thief. And if they're lying and cheating and manipulating you, they are a thief because they're stealing your love that you would not have given them. You're, they're stealing your choice of whether you would have chosen to be with them in the first place. This is a something that you've been like working on, that you've been babying, that you've been nurturing. It doesn't feel like it's a very um, 
old relationship. This may be somebody that, you know, just somebody that's new in your life or that you're just considering, but, you know, you're catching on to them really quick, right from the get-go. It feels like, you know, you're just absolutely not going to stick around for this one. It's like, this is a person that, you know, you thought you'd get to know, and after like a few dates or meetings or whatever, you're just not feeling it, and then you're able to see them for what they are. Okay, because even if they are a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, apparently they're not really good at it, or they're not good enough to fool you. <laughs> okay, so in your partner's column, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, you're going to have probably a um, Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, that's going to be kind of prominent in your life. Uh, someone that is also willing to buckle down and do that work with you. Somebody that takes uh, the relationship seriously. Uh, there's new uh, there's new opportunities and chances every day that you wake up. So just because one relationship doesn't work doesn't mean that you're doomed for the rest of your life not to be in a relationship. It's like when you go to the store and you try on jeans, you know, and if you're a female, you know how hard that is because some of us have, like me, I have a little bitty waist and very curvy hips. If I get them to fit my hips, then they don't fit the waist. If I get them to fit the waist, they don't fit the, you know, you know, or you know, I have long legs, so the legs might be too short or they might be too long or whatever. So dating is the same thing. You're just basically trying people out, uh, getting to know them, seeing if you are compatible at all, if you are a good match. You don't have to be in a relationship with every single person that you date, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, you need to find somebody that uh, it absolutely takes it as seriously as you do. Now, being a fire sign Sagittarius, you're very outgoing and um, active and social, okay, adventurous. Uh, an earth sign is somebody that might kind of ground you just a little bit and, you know, kind of ease you. You know, it's like when you have sugar in your coffee, I guess. Uh, the sugar takes the edge of the caffeine off. So this this uh, earth sign, there's somebody that kind of takes that edge off where you're not so hyper all the time. You know, and a lot of the uh, fire signs are like that, especially Aries, especially Sagittarius, different ways though. So yeah, your fears and challenges, obstacles, things like that, anxieties, uh, you, you, <coughs> You might not ever know if this person actually did cheat on you or not, but at the same time, you felt like you kind of dodged a bullet that uh, you made it out of there. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, things coming up for you that you don't have to worry about, that type of thing. Uh, you've never been one to stick around for a relationship where somebody is uh, basically taking advantage of you. Now, you have the... Uh, temperance card and you have this uh, angel that's kind of looking over you and watching out for you and blessing you and ensuring that you know when you do walk away from this of course it's always to something better of course it's always to something better the eight of cups talks about you know kind of being dissatisfied eh, and, and walking away uh, you're not really you're not really uh, you know feeling it and this angel basically is um, it's like making sure that this next person that comes along is going to be one that's more suitable for you. One that is, you know, going to kind of respect the boundaries of uh, being in a relationship. Now, in your second set of cards, we have the Page of Cups as well as the Six of Swords. Okay. And then we have <clears throat> in your next for your partner, we have the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay, in your obstacles and challenges, we have the Devil and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, and in your outcome, we have the Emperor <clears throat> and the Page of Swords. Okay, now let me get a drink here. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. The Six of Swords and the Page of Cups. 
and you have this love that you're wanting to to give to somebody you have this side of you that is very charming especially if you have a lot of water in your chart uh, you have this ability to um, create these playful yet sensitive caring emotional bonds with somebody you feel like you know this person came along and they took advantage of you and they played you like you were a fool even though you're fun loving and adventurous uh, they kind of mistook that for you as being somebody that was naive and they could like uh, you know pull the wool over your eyes or something but of course you know you, this is something that you're moving away from you're not even batting an eye about it, it kind of stings a little bit you know but it's okay you're gonna you're gonna be fine now in your partner's column we have that two of swords and the five of swords and they're not going to like it because they had uh, kind of picked you out I will I will say yeah they kind of picked you out they are going to be um, what is the word it's not really shaken up they're going to be kind of shocked that you caught on to them really quickly, that you decided to move on from them. Uh, they are uh, not willing to uh, accept that because they're not done with you yet. But it's, it's not really up to them, is it? Uh, this is when they decide that. They're going to try to annihilate your self-esteem. They're going to call your names. They're going to uh, say really bad things about you. They may gossip about you to other people. This is because you are cutting them out of your life and ignoring them. You're walking away from them right here. A lot of walking away from this person right here, and they don't like it. Uh, this shows their immaturity. This shows the value of this person. Um, this shows what they're all about when they can't have their way, you know. Uh, it hurts their ego so much that they go around to other people, you know, dogging you and bad-mouthing you and making themselves out to be the victim or whatever. And it's just not the way that it is. But we're familiar with those kind of people and, you know, it doesn't bother you. They're insignificant in your life. It's not anywhere that you have to stay. And, you know, after a while, these these people that go through friends like crazy, new sets of friends and new different people in their life, and everybody catches on to them sooner than later. All right, so yeah, you've been dealing with somebody who had a lot of really negative energy, who was trying to use you and manipulate you, you know, like that Seven of Swords that you had earlier, okay? But, uh, you know, you've walked away. Uh, they're chasing after you, not necessarily stalking you. It's just if they don't hear from you in a few days, they'll like leave you alone and thinking you're going to uh, come crawling back to them. And when you don't do it and they hear from you, uh, they, they're going to come back around. They're going to text you. They're going to come visit. They're going to, you know, call you, trying to figure out what's going on. But, you know, you decided that you are leaving this behind. You are not carrying it with you anymore. You're not going to uh, bring that into your new life, into your new relationship with this person that's coming that's coming in. There is, there is very strong earth, Aries energy coming into earth and fire energy coming into your, I just said Aries, I don't know, so maybe it's an Aries, coming into your... Um, little atmosphere okay uh, this is the person like we were talking about is somebody I'm getting a really good feeling from this person uh, they kind of look up to you they uh, respect you they admire you this is somebody that totally has their stuff together this isn't somebody that is into playing those uh, you know mind games and all that mess with you now as far as that uh, page of swords goes that still just means that that person's going to be trying to keep up with you the one from before the nasty manipulator person yeah narcissist person whatever we're going to call them uh yeah they're kind of like keeping tabs on you they want to make sure they don't like it when you start seeing other people you know they just they feel like they've been defeated okay now in your second set of cards here we have the Six of Wands as well as the Fool. All right. 
Uh, and your partner has the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Well, goody for them. All right, and the um, obstacles, challenges, things like that, uh, fears, anxieties, you have the world as well as the justice card. And in your outcome, you have the Eight of Wands and the Lover's card. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you're successful when you're leaving this person behind. You're making that new beginning. You're going to go ahead and take a chance and just jump right into this new relationship that's coming around this new earth sign fire sign person that's going to make themselves known and present in your life and uh, it's going to be like I said repeatedly through this 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 relationship that's coming up this new person if you don't already know who they are they're going to make themselves known to you really soon and the guy that you're leaving behind it looks like kind of like karma's catching up with them yeah, they don't like it. They uh, realize they messed up. They see how beautiful you look when you're in love. They uh, kind of miss it and want to be a part of it. Uh, don't fall for it. It's just a dirty, nasty trick that they use to come back around. And they say they're sorry because they don't like being dumped. So when you take them back, it'll be good for a day or two, a week or two, a few weeks, whatever. But they want to be the one to dump you. And they're going to make a big deal out of it. That's what that's what this person is up to. So yeah, you have justice and you have the wheel of fortune. And you really feel as if you made the right decision in leaving this behind because you are seeing that your luck is changing as you're moving forward in this new relationship. And uh, yeah, this... Um, this earth person, this earth fire person, maybe it's somebody born on the cusp of these two different, of two different signs. What is it? Like Leo, Virgo, uh, Aries, and Taurus, and um, Sagittarius and Capricorn, something like that. Somebody born in that little cusp there, yeah. And it, this is like really positive, positive energy. I really don't feel like you have anything to worry about. And like I said, this is something that's coming in really, really fast. This is a love energy that is going to, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you're not even planning for it and it just shows up in your life, you know. And they, everybody says when you're not looking for love, it shows up. Yeah, it's, it's kind of that situation. You are just trying to start a relationship with this one person and all of a sudden, out of the blue, uh, you find out that maybe that's not the person you need to be with. And as soon as you step away from it, this other opportunity presents itself to you. I would suggest you take it. Okay, so... That is your love reading for July 2020, Sagittarius. And I just want to take a second and tell you guys thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, shares, subscribes. And um, I just, you know, want to take another second and tell you guys who have so generously donated to my channel. Thank you so much. That's so kind. And I know how difficult it is these days with the economy and all this. But, uh, yeah, it is very much appreciated. And I will be doing weekly reads for you now instead of, you know, was just doing once a month and twice, three times. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do weekly. It's just a lot easier that way. That way you can come back every week for your updates. And I'm probably going to start doing a few lives and stuff as well. Okay, now that I'm getting a little more subscribers, subscribers and stuff. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.